Hello, welcome to the PM edition of Midweek Manor for this Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. And this will be our last devotional time for this year. Can you believe it? This year has really gone by really fast. I will say I have enjoyed doing these and I hope that somehow you have been blessed as well and listening to them and re maybe even revisiting some of them uh, throughout this year. Uh, this last one is on, uh, we've been doing a series this month on Courageous and Free, Journey to Inner Healing. And tonight, for me, I want to talk about how do you see God's heart? Throughout this whole month of looking at this topic of Journey to uh, Inner Healing, we have been looking at ways that God sees us. And so the question today is, how do you see God's heart? You know, inner healing is possible if we are willing to allow God to help us with that inner healing. I can say for myself, there have been many times in which I've gone through situations and circumstances in which I had to ask God to heal me in connection to forgiveness, in connection to resentment, in connection to disappointment or feelings of betrayal by other people. And as I asked God to help me in those moments, I can say that God really did help me. You know, you can't pray for somebody every day and still have a bad attitude towards them. I had somebody in my life one time that really hurt me and I felt betrayed. And every day I would pray that God would forgive me towards them and I would forgive them towards me. And I can say that as time has gone on, my heart has softened to that person. And that anytime that person's name come up or a situation comes up that involves them, I see them as just another human being, another child of God, without resentment, without anger, without the sense of betrayal. So as you continue on this journey of healing, inner healing, my prayer is that you always feel God's presence around you. And as you go through this time, you know, I always ask you to kind of sit, get still, and be quiet. And this week, and this one, I ask you to sit and just ask God, is there anything, God, you want to show me? Is there anything in my heart that you need to see? Or that I need to see in you? Trust the process of inner healing. We continue to heal every, 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 every day. It's not a one-shot thing. It's a process. It's a journey to inner healing. Thank you for journeying with me uh, throughout this year. And I look forward to being with you in 2024. And if there are different ways to uh, do this, I encourage you to uh, reach out and let me know your ideas or your thoughts. Shout out to Dallas, who's usually online uh, live, sometimes Alyssa, sometimes Charles, and others that may look at this at a later time. Whenever you do, I ask that it, I pray that it blesses you. And will you at this time allow me to pray as we close out this year? God, right now, I just thank you for the opportunity that you've given me every Wednesday, twice on Wednesdays, to just bring a thought, a moment, a topic that we can just stop and reflect on. Thank you for growing me throughout all of these things that we've talked about this year. And I pray, God, as we go into the new year, that you'll continue to bring forth those topics, those things that we need to talk about or I can share with people in our everyday life. Because, God, you want to be present in our life every day. And so, God, just thank you. I thank you right now, God, for the person and for the people that will hear this. I pray that they will be blessed by it. God, if there's anything going on in their lives, I ask that you would just be with them. Give them peace. Heal their bodies and minds and souls and spirits. God, whatever it is that, that they need healing in, I know, God, that you can bring that forth. I thank you, God, for all that you continue to do for all of us. Thank you for this past year. No matter how it ends up, God, you were with us every single day, good, bad, or indifferent. You were there with us. And I know, God, that with you in our lives, it can only get better. And in those moments where we are, we feel the weakest, remind us, God, that when we are weak, you are strong. God, I thank you and I praise you. And we all thank you for all the blessings you continue to bestow upon each and every one of us. In Christ's name, amen and ashe. I pray it's been a blessing to you and take care. I'll see you next week. Have a good New Year's. Bye-bye.